Holy cow, guys, I could not be any more pumped with the way this looks. What's up, everybody? Started my day off giving the dogs a treat. I think they deserved it. I think they're going to enjoy it. They seem happy with it. But as you guys saw, I built out this fire pit area and the TV and all that stuff. Well, I'm going to try to upgrade it and I'm going to try to do stuff under here, put some lights, do this whole section up real nice and get it ready. Hopefully, maybe by the end of this video, I'll have a couch over there as well, like a pull out couch, futon, something like that and have this whole area over here ready to go, fully finished. And then if I need a build in here, I can easily just put like plastic or a sheet or something right here to kind of block it off and nothing will get messed up and dirty, stuff like that. So let's get busy building. fireplace kind of going how I want it to. I want this to look a little bit more realistic. As you guys could tell, there is a wire right here uh, that fell down. I got something going on with the TV, but um, I want to make this more realistic. So what I did was I got some PVC pipe, and I'm not sure if I'll use this bottom part, but I'm going to paint it black, and then I'm going to hook it on right here and just make it look more. You guys probably can't see too much from the front. I want it to look like a real fire uh, place and then where the uh, wood stove where the uh, pipe would go out so I got that and then I have another piece that goes on it I'm gonna paint that up I may I may end up adding this on the bottom so I'll paint that as well if I think it needs to go a little higher to look more realistic so let's go paint this
So I'm really liking the way this looks. It makes it look a lot more like a real fireplace. I'm pumped on that, but I'm not really pumped on this TV. I think it needs to go up. Is that too high now? Yes, I did put some lights back there. I'm trying to feel if I like that or not. If it's too, too high up, I think it needs to come down just a little bit. And then I wanted to do a mantle right here. I just don't know if I'll be able to or not. We'll have to see. All right, I'm definitely digging this. And also, I bought some lights down here. I think it's these right here. Boom, and I'm gonna change the color. Kind of try to make it more of an orange. Maybe, maybe like that. Uh, I don't know if you guys could really see too much, but, but this is on. Well, that went back to uh, orange. There you go. I think, I think you can see it, but in the top, I can change. I think it's this remote. I got remotes everywhere. All right, so I got it on blue. Hopefully, you guys can see that pretty good. I don't know if it's all the way up or not. So I got those lights up there that I think it look pretty cool. That down there kind of makes it look like the fire's glowing. I'm liking this so far. It's kind of putting a little bit of light up here on top. It's kind of bright in here. I don't know how well you can see. But I do have some other lights and I want to hook them up here. That way it'll give me a little more light. It's the same type of puck lights and it'll be white or I can change them any color I want. So I'm gonna try to do that. So this is what I'm talking about. I am pumped with this. Guys, I got the lights up here. I got lights back there. I got lights behind the TV. I got the TV working. Plus, I got my internet working. Well, it's working. I didn't get to work. It's just working. And then I made the stove look real or realer. It looks like a more like a true wood burning fire stove. I did some trim over here. Guys, all this is exactly what I was going for and it made it look really rustic but really modern at the same time. So the thing that I love is these lights. So I could change these lights up here, up top. Hopefully you could see them. I think you can, but I don't know how well uh, uh, you'll be able to see them too much. So I'll turn them back to white. But I can change the colors of those. I can change the color behind the TV to red, green, blue, whatever I want. And then I can even change uh, the lights back here, whatever color I want, green, I could change it to white, I could do a lot more green, I could do a lot more orange. So, I got a bunch of different options that I could do, kind of set the mood depending on what I'm watching. Uh, I could set it all to white, I could just turn those off, I could do whatever I want. Plus, they're all battery powered except the one that hooks into the TV. The one that hooks into the TV is USB and it takes the power from the TV. But all the rest of them, I will be charging with batteries and then, then I have even more of them and I'm gonna put them up on the top beam and the loft, stuff like that. And I could always recharge these batteries very easy on my battery banks, my solar battery banks, whenever I'm running the generator. It'll be the best option. That way, if for some reason the gas runs out or whatever, I still have lighting options. I won't always have it on, but this will definitely be a good uh, solution in case my generator messes up, my battery banks die, at least I have some some light still and that's why I did it this way. So let me know what you guys think of the ceiling in here. Uh, I really like the way it came out. Putting this trim on here really uh, just made it clean and nice. This was just fence planks. It was the cheapest thing I could do. I already had a bunch of them left over from the carport build and some other projects. So all I did was paint it and then I left just, I just did one coat of paint so you can still see the wood grain through it and I really like the way it came out. It's, it's really rustic, 
but modern at the same time. And then with these little puck lights, I am extremely satisfied with the way it came out. I didn't think it was going to come out that good. And then under here, uh, I didn't know what to do. And doing this where it kind of, I was, into, I was going to do an angle, but it didn't look right. Because I, you guys saw a little. So I was going to do an angle and, and go with the rafters, but I didn't like it. And you guys saw that in one of my previous videos when Jared and Danielle were out here. So we decided to do this, and I am very, very glad we did because it's very clean lines. It looks good. It kind of brings it out, and it makes it a little more 3D, and I really like the way it looks. So I am very glad we did that. I would even thought about putting lights and stuff there, but I just went real simple with it, did the three lights, and I'm loving it. But I think that wraps up this video. I'm going to just kind of soak it in, look at it, see if I want to change anything. I still want to put a fireplace mantle right here. If it works out, I'll mill it up for my own trees and the sawmill. And if it looks cool, I'll put it on there. But I don't want it to take away from this. Uh, I am very, very pleased with the way that looks. I'm pleased with all of this. I'm still going to do some touch-up paint, stuff like that. But guys, I think I'm ready to move in. Heck yeah yurt love you guys so guys if you like this video please feel free to subscribe hit the notification bell all that cool stuff but i got to relax check this out and then uh just kind of see what i want to do from there but guys i am pumped seriously though guys thank you so much for all y'all support your love um your ideas that uh you said to stain it and don't paint it i am glad i did that the only thing i'm really thinking and this might be later on is maybe paint these walls white. Maybe not keep them this blue color. Maybe do it all white like we originally wanted. It wasn't the gray I wanted, and unfortunately, it just happens that way that sometimes the paint colors don't always go the way you want. But I'll live with it for a while, get Danielle's opinion. She'll be coming out, moving ready, guys. So I am super excited, but it's time to go, so I'll catch you on the next. Peace!